Hey, everybody, you're listening to What Are You Doing in Denmark, the podcast that helps you make Denmark make sense. My name is Derek Hartman, and I've been living in Denmark since 2017. And today I am here with a fantastic guest and friend of the show. He's been here before, so no stranger. Welcome, Jeff Bond. Thanks, Derek. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. I'm excited to have a little chat with you. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. We're going we're gonna to be breaking down all the latest news in Denmark. And if you don't know Jeff, he is a hilarious comedian. You can see him doing stand-up all over Denmark, really all over. Scandinavia, the UK, yeah, really all, yeah, it's all over busy, the world. Yeah, yeah, it's been really great. I've just come back from uh, Scotland. I just did uh, Edinburgh and Glasgow in Scotland. That was a lot of fun. I saw the th- most Scottish thing ever, which was like a bus was turning a corner and like a taxi had filled the whole road, you know? And so the bus turns the corner and the taxi's just here and he turns and then it like the, the bus driver goes, Burp, but then the taxi beeps back. But I swear you could hear like the Scottish accent in the beeps. <laughs> like, honestly, like the, the bus was turning. It's like, fucking get out the way. It's like beep 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 beep, and like, like you could hear, yeah, you could yeah. hear, you could hear the Scottish accent in the beeps. Like they had an argument in Scottish through beeps. It was just, it was, it was beautiful. It was like ah, oh, Glasgow. Oh yeah, that's the like city that. of dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic and yeah. nightmares if you're a cab driver. I yeah, guess, oh, a hundred. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah and relatable. A bus driver. Yeah, yeah, very relatable. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not too many nightmares in the the Danish news, but a lot no. going on. No, I yeah, absolutely. I I mean, it's one of those things. Always, I find funny with the Danish news and stuff. It's just you know compared to our respect of countries where we're from it's just like did you see there was a seagull yeah <laughs> and, so and you like what did the seagull do it's like no there just was one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're like okay oh, right. they're back yeah, yeah like that's why i love danish news when there is a bit of a scandal like it's like news for the next 600 years yes it's yeah, like yeah, salivating yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. but like, coming oh from God. like the u.s the uk it's like ah oh, we're like you know taking yeah. shots and assassination attempts at yeah. people and it's just like okay it's, but it's just, we yeah. just swing from one disaster to another disaster <laughs> right. so by the time you get caught up in another one it's just they're like did you hear about this it's like oh never mind about that did you hear the fact that the guy like like assassinates or you're like okay fucking hell, that's crazy we have to name the hurricanes because you can't even keep track of them and then, but, but sometimes uh, you know. the hurricanes you're like okay we go through hurricanes like you go through prime ministers oh 100 yeah. it's like if, oh hurricane trust is coming over it's like are we talking about the prime minister or are we just talking about the woman <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean like if you hear like a, now when you hear like a name you're like and that's that's a natural disaster right it's a, it's a disaster in some way like, yeah in many ways it's a <laughs> yeah, disaster yeah. but uh this one is just yeah you know it's a natural disaster because they were conceived. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you mentioned birds, though, because I do have a, a really, I think, a fun, uplifting piece of Danish news. Actually, about, yeah, about, sure. about birds, and it's a nice one. I, I think something that would be probably not making headlines in uh, in the UK or the US, but yeah. is, is just the right amount of newsworthiness here I love in it. Denmark. So according to Project Uen, which is a, a conservation program. First things first, well done. Yeah. That was really good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Someone's been Practicing. Just in the on the way to, on the way yeah. to studio today. Earn, 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 earn. <laughs> I'll still get a, an email. Saying, yeah, probably. Oh, no, actually, move your tongue top wise. Uh, yeah, actually, okay. you know, you should be more in your soft palate. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a conservation program by the Danish ornithol. Danish Ornithological Association. Oh, I can't after say I'm that word. word. No, but that's well. That's much harder to go from urn to ornithological. That it's was a, mean. My, my, my tongue is worn out. Yeah. So it's just a regular O, Ornithological Association. So there are now eight occupied territories with six different breeding pairs of young eagles in Denmark. So golden eagles are making a comeback. Whoa! In that's so cool. Of Denmark. Okay, yeah. like, and um, and forgive me, I'm not an ornithological expert. Yeah, uh, and I didn't just say that just to brag of the fact that I could say ornithological. <laughs> yeah, way to show that off. Thanks, <laughs> appreciate. In the ornithology of the, all the ornithological things that I know, uh, no, I like golden eagles. Are they like so? They're not native to here, or like they from a specific area in a uh, country somewhere else? So I, they have been introduced in Denmark, okay. and but their numbers have been in decline. Oh, okay. So part, as part of the conservation effort since 2007. They've been trying to bring back the number of breeding pairs, and it's actually been stable. They are now four to five pairs of golden eagles who are breeding and producing four or five chicks annually that's so that's that's just great to see more immigrants make it in this yeah. country do you know what i mean like that's that's just yeah. so great it's yeah. like good on you just like us Where'd come on yeah. yeah now all you need to do is get in Daoping and you'll be fine <laughs> yeah it, and it's tough these are the things you know it's harder you know do you know that'll be something of a dance for party they'll be like you know they are coming here and they're, they're having children they're, here, they're hatching <laughs> eggs <laughs> They're like, five children already? This is crazy. Like, that's their, That's where your taxpaying money is going. To the, golden eagles, not bronze eagles. Golden eagles. They Birds already have money. Prey. That's it. 
<laughs> but terrorizing. Look, look at them on the streets. You got to be careful. That would be. That's so true. I know. Yeah, it's like yeah. the golden eagles. I imagine like scared is hearing about. It's like we are taxing them there, yeah. right? Gold. How gold, much yeah. gold? I know they're bringing it in. What and are we how talking? Much, yeah. What are we talking here? Come on, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. <laughs> I, that's so cool. I mean, yeah. I I I love the idea of eagle. Just you know, obviously yourself as an American, yeah. eagles are you know the, my my American football team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, so there you I go. Was like, let's go. Uh, and now let's, I know the chance. We'll get them. Uh, that would right. be so funny if, like, now they were like, oh, yes, we are the hair slew <laughs> eagles. And you're like, mm, it doesn't, mm. <laughs> it doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? The birds in here in Denmark are gorgeous. Yeah. Like, I, so I learned something the other day, which was um, apparently, so I always looked around, and I don't know about yourself, you, I mean, New York, you, you, you lived in New York? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, 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 I, no. But, 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 like 90 minutes away. 90 minutes yeah, away, okay. Me. And like, so, I mean, let, just America as a whole, like, the pigeons are monstrous, I imagine. Oh, They're yeah, like yeah. the most terrifying things yeah. you've ever seen. Like, London and <laughs> Manchester and Liverpool, like, they've got like three wings and a tentacle and like, you know. What yeah, I mean? they're but, flying rats in New York the, City, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. but like raccoons in and New York, yeah. right? Massive. It's like, in, in, in England, you know, it's like, they're like, the it's because the Birds are like so inbred, like they are. They like they're so inbred. They should be like a sandwich, but like um, I, I, I learned that apparently because the first thing I noticed was obviously everyone's very pretty here in Denmark. That was one of the first thing I noticed, and then I was like, even the pigeons are like good looking here. Yeah. Yeah, like, they feel like a little bit uh, like they like they've definitely showered more recently yeah, than like they've, and they've, like, like, ooh, like a little bit ooh, yeah. like ooh, like like they make you go, they do kind of yeah. I agree yeah and, uh, but apparently it was because um, I learned this from a Dane who told me this that they imported again they keep importing birds but uh, they import birds and they put these uh, pigeons in from Catalonia what yeah so that's why they're they have that accent yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why they have that. Yeah. Have you ever been talking to a pigeon yeah. and just like I'm? S I don't. I feel like, so ignorant sorry, right I now. Know that, I know it's not Spanish. I know it's not I Portuguese. Know. What are you I trying to say? I, and I should definitely be very gentle Catalan. around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, so, um, so, how are you? And you're just they're like, oh, I feel really bad and very ignorant. I should be more adapt to other people's cultures. But that's it. Yeah, it's, I, I just remember seeing that. And have you so ever had, just had prettier pigeons there? Like that are maybe like more adapt. Well, I didn't, to I didn't know Catalonia was known for their. Okay. Pigeon I mean, quality. I don't know that if. I was walking around and I was like, you know, the pigeons just aren't cute here. <laughs> Where can we get cuter pigeons? But what a what a what a what a uh, first world problem to have. Yeah, right, you know what right. I mean? Like, like most what, people are like, I don't know if I'm gonna make rent or like, oh I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> right. And it's just like, mm, like let's make them a yeah, little bit more. What, what are we gonna do about the aesthetic of our pigeons? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we need to import some. It's, it's like seeing like screws in like this table and be like, <laughs> yeah. what if we can make them mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, all right, okay, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. But I'm I'm happy for these these yeah. golden eagles. And and not to not to not not to uh, you know poke holes in in this, but there is an issue because uh, they tend to settle in areas where there are already pheasants and ducks. Okay, and because they are birds of prey, it can create some conflicts, not just with with the ducks. And the birds are 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 pretty big. Yeah, well, they're eagles. So yeah, they're eagles. So yeah, like, yeah. yeah, they have a uh, uh, wingspan of, of two point three meters, oh which goodness. is rather that's large. That's massive. Yeah, that's really. I... So imagine not being used to that, and then all of a sudden you're like. Whoa! What is that? That's well. And, that's like something from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. It's just like, <laughs> why? Where were you when Frodo needed you? And now you're here, like having a nice time. This is crazy. I really is. Is the conflict again because they're foreign? Is it, are these Danish ducks just being like, or is is it like it's not a, like a xenophobia thing? It's I think it just creates issues with, uh, with oh, the it's ducks, with the pheasants. It's because it's because they're eating them. It's strain not, on it, the resources, and right. then they're eating them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's not yeah. because the it's not because the ducks are like, don't look at them, children. Quack quack quack. Yeah, because they. I mean, they'll they'll hunt a duck. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. I'll hunt a duck. Yeah, yeah. Duck and, is, and that's what and that's the thing. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, so but, just, but there's nothing more Danish than eating duck. Yeah. So maybe they're just trying to integrate. They're it's honestly just part of the integration. Yeah, absolutely. You know. It's like Christmas time. It's like I do like lots of uh, um, Christmas gigs and stuff for uh, companies, and I love duck. It's yeah. absolutely one of my favorite uh, poultry things to eat. And by the end of the Christmas time, I've eaten like so much duck. Just, just like a, all a of your duck for the year comes <laughs> yeah, in yeah, December. Yes. I was like, put it in my veins. <laughs> right. And they're like, uh, we've got some like Christmas food. It was like, put the duck on yeah. the table, leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got that duck? Yeah, you got, yeah. <laughs> dude. You got that duck though. <laughs> That's sweet D. Yes. And they're, and they're like, we, we don't want that. And they're like, no, I mean the duck. I'm not yeah. trying to. Don't call HR. Not again. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on with the Eagles. But you know, I I, I think overall it's gonna be a, oh, it's gonna what be a, a good sentence thing. that yeah. was, Derek. So far, so, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for the Eagles. Keep an eye out for the Eagles. Well, you always are as a football team. Uh, exactly, and you know, with a 
two point three meter wingspan. It's gonna be it, pretty it's, easy. It's not gonna be hard to it's keep like an a eye basketball on them. player yeah. just flown for the sky. Exactly. Where where about are they? Did, did you find that out? Like where are they located? Um, or, or imagine it'll be in like Uland or something. Yeah, I would think. Just uh, people walking along and just, gonna... they're like giant <laughs> just gets taken into the sky. Don't leave your kids outside the cafes anymore. <laughs> just 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 like all just right, just... okay, little Jens, I'm gonna go in for a cafe. <laughs> ah! it's like, oh god. Ah! <laughs> That would be wild. That would be wild. Fear. Yeah, yeah, that a real or, fear. A real fear. <laughs> well, I've always said that. I think life in Denmark's so wonderful. It's nice to have a little just, bit of just keep you on your toes, yeah. mix it up a little bit. Don't you get too I mean? cozy. Yeah. What a, what a story that would be. Yeah. It's just uh, like it's just, I'm sorry, I'm really scared of birds because when I was like nine months, <laughs> an eagle came and <laughs> taken me. It's like, that's somehow of a Greek legend. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, and then like you, they raise you as one of their own, and then drop you back off. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. That's like a like was it is it is it Romulus and Remus? Oh, yeah, know. right. They were they, raised they, by wolves. Wolves by wolves. Yeah, yeah. That's which cool. is always something I hear is a negative. But they founded Rome, so yeah. I mean, oh, I mean, just, you're right. It's but all also, about perspective. They founded Rome, but also they founded Rome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> true. I used to work for uh, like we used to teach Italian kids English. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. and um, which was really interesting because we would teach them like they're like three, so they don't even speak Italian yet. But you try to but teach them English, English too. Yeah. So like it was, you know, we teach them like at Christmas time. We teach them like, oh, so here's like a snow, snowman and like or like and a, a Santa. I'd go Santa Claus and they go Papa Natale, and then I'm like, no Santa Claus. And they go Papa Natale. Like this, this guy's an idiot. He doesn't <laughs> even know who Papa Natale is. <laughs> and then eventually, one of the little fetuses would go like. But Santuta, like close enough, and you'd be like, ah. "Oh, it's a, it's a, we'll we'll move on." That was great. That was great. And you move on, and then there'd be like a snow snowman, and it'd be like Frozen, and they'd be like, "Oh God, all right, we'll just go back because you're not going." It's like Santa Claus, and they go Papa Natale, and you're like, "Oh man!" And we were in Rome. And we left our, our stuff in our car that the, the company gave us. And we came, I keep my stuff with me uh, just because uh, I'm aware of thievery and I, I kept my stuff with me. But the two uh, young women I was with, uh, all of their stuff in the car and like they broke in, like they didn't smash the window. Like they were like, you know, art thieves, you know, we're not talking oh, like a smash, like, like, like a diamond yeah, saw, like yeah. circle. To yeah, like they, they cut the rubber and like they'd gone in and like, it was really like, and, and then I, I remember the first thing was like, oh, this is terrible for those ladies. But the second was like, well done. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, cool. <laughs> right. And then um, I remember, so they, they were panicking and stuff. So I drove to the police station because I could speak like conversational Italian. Papa get, Italian. Papa, like, <laughs> yeah, it was Christmas time. So <laughs> it was the Grinch, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I, was, I was just, I love the idea of me going to the police station and I go, Papa Natale. And then the kick goes, no chiamo. Papa Natale. <laughs> Just saying Santa Claus over and over again. <laughs> I just did that as well. Yeah. I, I just did the Italian I hand there. Really, like eventually, they're just like, yeah, sure, man. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, that's what they were like. And, and they were like, okay, he was robbed. He was clearly robbed because he's in Rome. Oh, dude, that's, <laughs> dude, that's what they said. And like in a way, like I don't want to say victim blamed us. They were, they were, they were just, they just, he just kind of was like, it is Rome. <laughs> and I was like. You're the, po you're the police. You're the police? Yeah. That's like if you go to the doctor and you're like, oh, that, that, you know, that is disease. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, well, fix me. That's a, that's a part of evolution. Yeah, you know what that means? Sometimes, you know, your, your knee no longer works. It's like, can you fix it? No. <laughs> no, you have to. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> You, know, you have left me. You, use the other one. Yeah, come on. Don't. <laughs> yours is going a bit Russian. My, yeah, I think about Russian. You, I, all, I break your knee. I break my, it. All of my accents end up being Russian or British. So just look out. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, mate. It could be anything. <laughs> I mean, that's. I am not an impressionist, and I never kind of, will be. It's kind of funny that eventually everything kind of becomes Russian or British, yeah. because if we look at British we'll colonialism, look at history, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> and Russia's doing their best. I um no, but so I remember going when we went to this this policeman, and he was there like uh, he was there like it is wrong, it is wrong, and I was like right, okay, uh, and then he and he was like hyping up the 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 thieves. Like, like, he, like in a way, he was just there, like you know, that it is their job. They they go to, like he was like they go, they wake up, they go to work, they steal your thing, they go home. And I'm like, <laughs> like yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, why are you normalizing this? If you know they're doing whose side are you on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was it you? Was it you? <laughs> oh, Giuseppe, <laughs> yeah, get over here. This is like that looks like a dress that's not going to fit you. You know, it was <laughs> you know Rome. I mean, they they you know their legacy has some some peaks and valleys. And they had golden eagles they as did. their banner, wow. as their standard. Oh, full what a circle. Full circle. Yeah. Look at that. Well, what else is going on in... Well, what's going on in the in, world? In, in Denmark, in the Danish world. In, in, the Danish in world. our Danish world. In our Danish world. Well, I'm very excited for this one. Now, the government wants to stop cousin marriages. Okay. First yeah, things, I'm, I'm, I'm... Right. Yeah. First things first, I thought 
that was just the done. way it was. Yeah. <laughs> right, so they want to stop the cousins from marrying. And anyone? <laughs> yeah, just anyone in like, general. Look, I don't want any of my cousins. You should see Begita. Yeah, she's just a bitch. She is. <laughs> my cousin is a dog, and I do not want them. <laughs> the, the government wants to st uh, stop uh, marriages between Fera and cousins, so essentially. And what's great about this is the whole time is in Sweden, it's like a big thing because they want to they want to stop cousins from marrying, you know, boo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, but it's but it's really good because uh, it, it, all of the, the Danish politicians are just kind of like, ah, well, that's Sweden. <laughs> like, you know, they're like, it's a much bigger problem in Sweden than it is here in Denmark. Uh, and they're like, oh, well, it's, so it's against the law. No. But like you know, but we're not as bad as Sweden. Yeah, we're not it's, as bad. As, they just dunk like, on Sweden. The, the whole Danish time. deflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. good. It's like, like well, well, it's worse in Sweden. Like also, it's yeah. like they want to stop. Like in it's in Sweden, it's apparently legal to marry your half sibling. Uh, it's legal. Oh. Yeah, it's like some Game of Thrones thing. Like you know, uh, like yeah, I know. It's like some Lannister messed yeah. up stuff. I could also see the Danish Parliament just trying to stop Sweden from marrying. Anybody. <laughs> That's so true. So, That's it. That's so true. They're but just we'll like, start with the cousins. Yeah, we'll start with the cousins and then we'll, we'll ramp it up. Then... We'll ramp it up. So what's interesting as well is like every one of the Danish politicians, they didn't want to take a hard stance, obviously the politicians. Yeah. But like, I think we can all agree. Uh, I'm going to look directly at Kim. Don't marry your cousin. Right. I, I didn't feel like I needed to say this, but maybe don't marry, don't marry your, your, your parents' siblings' child. Really spell it out. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you know, just like maybe just don't do that. That's that's pretty mad. And it's like, but apparently, so Meta Fredrickson, she says, we know that marriages look different and have done so across many generations. <laughs> so and are the children of those <laughs> yeah. of those cousins. It's so mad. It's like it's like she's saying it's like we know that marriages look different, especially here in our country. It just feels like they're just like, look, we know sometimes your cousin's pretty hot. <laughs> and you're like. What? What a what a wild swing to take! It's just it's just it's just mad. Is this is this like a serious um, thing that's happening? Yeah, like, yeah this... it was on it was on political. I've not made this. Up. Yeah. Oh no no no. I be I believe yeah. that I believe that it came to you know finally having to be like yeah we're not allowing this to go yeah. on anymore. But who is the constituency that this is Right, impacting? so she said, we now have new problems in our country where people come from outside. Okay, and use, that's what I thought yeah, we were getting to. And okay. use marriage to press others. And of course, that's absolutely awful and terrible sure. and 100%. It's like, it's all about to combat like honor related, like violence and all that kind of yeah. stuff. I'll be honest, I read the headline. I was like, oh, the more I read, I went, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. That's absolutely yeah. awful. And shouldn't even be used up. But the first, they, they didn't do themselves any favors with the the headline. Yeah, it was like Denmark wants to ban cousins marrying, <laughs> and you're like, I just thought that was a, a the, thing. It, 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 we're we're just now getting to it. Yeah, they were like, well, we finally solved the ugly pigeon issue. <laughs> But so, that's why. But that's why the, the pigeons we can are look inbred. At the oh, pigeons ooh, are inbred, ooh, but ooh, here they're pretty. Well, so, like, if they, we let pigeons marry, if we let pigeons do it, what's next? Yes, yeah, th these eagles coming over here, <laughs> marrying their cousins, <laughs> having chicks. <laughs> but it's and then um, so Trozlun uh, Poulsen from Venstre, he says um, he says it's significantly less an issue in Denmark compared to Sweden. Dunk. Uh, but he supports the ban, and he says we have to tackle these issues, and cousin marriages are part of it. Uh, too many women live in oppressive cultures that prevent them from living a free life, of course, which we would otherwise provide in Denmark. So once more, just getting a final stab in at Sweden. And I love it because Sweden is like the cousin of yeah, Denmark that, in this yeah, metaphorical really. so, sense. Right. And yeah. we will never marry you them. We will never marry Stop. No, stop why, trying to... Why are you so obsessed with Why are you so obsessed with us? <laughs> stop, Sweden. We're not going to marry you. This is... It's getting gross. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just thought that was so fantastic. And just, let's we're, not marry each other's cousins. Wow. We're making progress. Yeah, we are. I guess... I mean, or just, you know, like where we should have been. Or backwards. <laughs> yeah. I where we should have been ages yeah. ago. I mean, what are we, like the Habsburg yeah, Empire right. here? Well, what Sweden's are we doing? The, Sweden's the Alabama of Europe. Uh, right, <laughs> right. I, I tell you what, though. I still think it's illegal there. Yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, I, I feel like every state gets to do their own thing, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that it's they... It's more of a taste thing, isn't it's it? Yeah. 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 It's like, you know... I was going to say white sandals and socks, but that's like in now. That's coming back. Yeah. But like in a big way. Yeah. Like I remember when I was a kid, like I remember I put sandals and socks on. My Your mom. cousin used to <laughs> do that. Cousin used to try and have socks. 
She's like, damn, okay. She's like, damn, those socks and sandals. <laughs> yeah, wow, oh my God. <laughs> Tell me, are you from Sweden? And I'm like, no, oh, I'm from no. Ireland. And no. she's like, oh, yeah, I knew that. Because <laughs> you're Cause my I'm your cousin. Because yeah, I'm your cousin. Be- <laughs> because you're my uncle's <laughs> son. <laughs> You want to get married? Yeah, I was just like, oh, finally, I thought you'd never ask. That's, it's, I just, I I mean, wow. It's I, the, also just, the think of the, I'm reading about this on, like, this technology. Yeah, I'm right. reading, you know, you're reading on your phone about, like, something that, it's like, it's like we've evolved so far technologically as a yeah. race and of people and yeah. species of people, yeah. yet we're still we're devolving. worried about, yeah. Marrying people with yeah, the same yeah. grandparents as us. <laughs> that sounds so awful when you put it that way. As well. It's just like, yeah, maybe don't, you know, it's just going to be an awkward Christmas. You know, in this economy, yeah. <laughs> it's expensive to have a wedding. So the yeah. smaller. That's can, very, very like, true. What side are you, bride or groom? Both. <laughs> Well, typically the parents pay for the yeah. wedding. It's like, well, you know, we'll 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 pass around the collection plate yeah. at the next family like get together, I guess. Yeah, which is all of the get togethers. I... Yeah, your family, your you know, your your family tree is just um, a, a, wreath. <laughs> a wreath, <laughs> a wreath, a yeah, wreath. Yeah, that's around. it. Yeah, oh, that's Christmas cute. time. Speaking on uh, on on technology, technology. Uh, and everything that we can do on our phone now, uh, mm. besides finding a suitable marriage partner Mm -hmm. that is not related to you. Uh, The EU is introducing, and this will impact Denmark uh, very bigly. Uh, Bigly? Yeah. Very bigly. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, my American English. Uh, So the (laughs) EU is introducing a new law to improve working conditions for people that are employed through digital platforms. Okay. So meaning, of course, freelancers, but most commonly, especially in Denmark, that'll be people that work for like Volt, Just Eat, any of the uh, the delivery programs, groceries. So any sort of grocery food delivery services that are commonly done, uh, especially by the international community in Denmark, I think disproportionately works for these. Uh, So this law is going to aim to clarify whether workers are considered employees, (sighs) self-employed, and then kind of the address the issue of like false self-employment where really like we know you work for Volt. You're not an independent contractor because you didn't just start a courier service. You work for a courier service and it's called Volt. Right. So where these workers kind of get misclassified as freelancers, but they really are just functioning employees, employees of these yeah. companies. They'll have to be held to the same rights to vacation, rest breaks, and uh, maximum work week hours as those of us who Wait are Wait a minute. They company. want to treat them like people? Yeah. Gross. Yeah. But- <laughs> <laughs> bring me bring me my pizza. <laughs> yeah. So no news on where that will leave stand-up comedians, but oh, well. I'm pretty sure you're going to be... You're, you're assuming that I'm not a Walt delivery <laughs> right. driver no, full-time, actually. That's true. I forgot. Yeah. Comedy's going well. Yeah, it's <laughs> going great. It's, I t- Man, like, good. Because yeah. I just, I mean, I feel so... So bad yes. <laughs> using Walt. And I used yes. it twice this weekend. Right. And also, I, I should clarify, too, and maybe we'll bleep this out. Yeah. Uh, we, we, don't, uh, we don't know which of the platforms are better than others because right. some may be voluntarily complying with some of this, but some, uh, I think, are, are not or are sort of cherry-picking which aspects of Danish employment they choose Got to... It. Yeah, but, but there's been a lot in the news recently of different companies, including a lot of construction companies operating in Denmark that are using labor through subcontractors mm. and sort of this this false self employment model skates, yeah. to have people working in even more horrendous conditions like asbestos and things oh like that God, in the no. construction industry. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's something that I think is good that the that the government is taking up again, maybe a little bit late. Uh, yeah, not as late as the cousin marriage. Cousin marriage, in <laughs> but I think this is something that is not new. Yeah, but look at this. We're talking about technology and all this kind of stuff. It's like we need to make sure that people have basic human rights. And uh, yeah, it's like, I, I, yeah, aren't we doing that? It's like we need to make sure we're not marrying our cousins. Uh, what? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? I thought Denmark was quite a civilized uh, country, you know, and like high standards of living and uh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, and again, I think. It's just getting everybody into that. However, you know, I look back, uh, you know, when I first moved here, we had Uber for about oh, man, three yeah. months, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was shut down for all of these reasons. I know a lot of it had to do with labor and like mm. the labor laws. and But it seems like then there was a loophole that a lot of people were able to operate in. Yeah. And it 
didn't yeah it just uh they just I, I feel it. like this was an oversight i <laughs> it has been many years in the I, I i've been very fortunate and i've been back and forth uh to the uk and all over the place and um i love it when i enter a, a country and it's got uber because obviously yeah. it's the convenience and it's great and it's sure. wonderful and one of my favorite things is um my fiance and I, we were in um, Ukraine. This is way before everything that's awful that happened over there. Um, it was about nine months before. Um, and we were in Ukraine and we were in Kiev. I got Uber out. And what was really cool is you could get like Uber Plus. Ah. Uh, you know, and like in it, it was like, it was really cool. You got to decide what temperature you the, you wanted the, the right. car to be in before it arrived. I was like almost tempted to go like minus four and then he'd have to and do you'd it. you have to turn you, it on. Just like in Arctic <laughs> gear, just being like, come, like, you know, I mean, that'd be... And depending on the time of year, it was almost that condition this, anyway. Yeah, it's, so. it's just rolling down the windows. I went to Ukraine, I think, in February yeah. and, you know, posted, like, photos of it. And I think just every comment on the, the photo that I posted was like, Ukraine in February, that is brave. Bold, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like... I mean, Napoleon didn't learn from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also married his cousin, so what do you get? <laughs> Yeah, he did as well. There I think I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. Oh, also on the Uber Plus thing, you could um, you could decide if you wanted to have a conversation. Yes. If you wanted to be chatty or not. Yeah. <sighs> right now, like, and as like, I, you know, as this won't suggest this, but like in that kind of in those kind of scenarios, like when people are cutting my like, if I go to like the barber and stuff, and people like want to have a conversation, I get like. Can like how can you focus? I, just me. I have ADHD, so it was like, mm. how can you focus? And cut my hair at this. I'd make so many mistakes. Yeah. I'd, I'd be, it'd be chaos back there. I kind you know? of want your attention. Yeah, I want. It's focused. like you know, like if there, were, like if a paramedic was saving your life, you're like, anyway, going anywhere nice. If I save your life, and you're like, no, can you focus on <laughs> no, the no compressions? Yeah, yeah, on the chest. Stay alive, staying alive. <laughs> Come on, on the chest, please. I was like, I'd love that. Yeah, please. Like as a socially awkward person in that environment, it's like you know, yes, I don't want to cover. Don't. Please don't talk to me. Uh, don't look at. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. In fact, don't even beat me up. <laughs> in fact, in fact, just drive around you, me in a circle. Can you just leave? <laughs> yeah, yeah, five stars. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And also on the haircut, I don't like having. A, mm. I, I don't want to chat. <laughs> oh, Derek. Oh man. So uh, I was um I was in a competition in London recently, and I went right. I'm going to look sharp for this competition. So I went to find a reasonably placed barber in London and I turn up at this place and it's got good reviews. I turn up and there's this woman and she's there and she's like, hey, come sit down. She's a woman in her mid fifties. Um, and so I sit down and she, the first thing she gets, she goes, all oh, right, I know exactly what I'm going to do with your hair. And I was like, Wait, you, and you didn't tell her? Yeah. I was like, no, yeah, I didn't say anything yet. And I was oh. like, that's not how this works. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she's like, you're getting banged. <laughs> that was it. And so basically, uh, it's kind of grown out now. So what she did is she just gave me oh, a so mullet. It's, it's a fringe. Yeah, yeah. So she just gave me this mullet thing, what? and then so she's shaving my head, and then so at one point she gets the mirror out. She's like, look at that, look at that. I call this the dragon wing. No, That's no. What, yeah, I know. It's like you don't even know the names for the things you're doing to my hair. Yeah, it was scary. It was scary. Oh, oh, uh, I hope you left a review for the next person. I just, I, I was, I was obviously in my head the whole time. I was like, this is so funny. <laughs> Did she threaten you? No, <laughs> no. Do she not was, leave a review. Yeah, well, she was, but she was also, no, because she was also going, you know, you know how it is when you go to the barbers and stuff, mm. they, they show you the mirror and it's like, how good's that? And they could right. have done it. And what are you going to say? Yeah, it's like, like, yeah, this is great. Oh, I don't know. When I cut people's hair, I do, like, no, <laughs> yeah. you're like, yeah, it's fine. She's like, I'm going to do my signature in the back of your head. You're like, great, might as well. Great. Like, go. But great. like, it was like, yeah, I call this the dragon wing. And I'm like, so you don't know the names of the things you're doing to like it's like yeah I call this one the unicorn's taxidermy uh, and you're like ah, what's going on there so she did she gave me a full on mullet <laughs> the back was like way more and then I went oh can you um can you trim the back a bit more? And she was like, reluctantly, she was like, all right. I'm uh, like, you're, this is not how, like, you don't just turn up to a restaurant and the chef's just like, I know exactly what I I'm going to exactly cook you guys. No, give me a menu. Yeah, let yeah, me pick. Let me decide. Good Money is exchanged for goods and or services. Right. Yeah. So, and then, so after she was like, oh, aren't you so thrilled with it? And I was like, yeah, mm. sure. I'm, uh, yeah. And so she's like, oh, you know, she was like, my name's, uh, which I've forgotten. And I shouldn't probably dox her anyway. Um, <laughs> And she was like, yeah, here's this. Give me like a load of uh, like uh, wet paper towels as well. Just, yeah, and I was like, what? like... To dry your tears? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they weren't wet when I yeah. when I came in. Oh. Uh, yeah, they were soaked after. And so I leave this thing and I was like, for a brief moment, I was like, hey, maybe this is like a new style. This is really cool. But then it, was, it looked like, because now mullets are in. Oh, yeah, I hate that. You know? Yeah, and, why? Uh, but isn't it interesting that mullets are in? Because, you know, when my parents used to look back at their hairstyles... 
they'd be like, oh, we're so embarrassed by that. And we've gone, you know what? We'll bring that you back. You know, that's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. We'll bring that back. You know the thing we didn't like? But then again, history repeats itself in awful ways. Yeah. It's like, uh, what, what's next? Are we just going to go and get all of those old, ugly, ratty Danish pigeons back? Yeah. Where Gross. Are we, no, Absolutely we have not. The hot, sexy Catalan pigeons <laughs> now. <laughs> the Catalonian pigeons. And that Ooh. apparently is inspiring haircuts around the world. That's it, days. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah my, I, I went in looking yeah. like a Catalonian pigeon, <laughs> and I came out <laughs> looking like looking an like... East London pigeon. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's just that. <laughs> but the, I just, I, 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 I shout out to that lady. That was, I wish to have that confidence in my life. <laughs> Do you know just what I mean? Tell just, people what they're going to look just, like. Just to, just to do whatever I feel like, and then <laughs> charge for money after. Brilliant. That's 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 fantastic. Imagine if you were in an Uber and they were like, "Oh, I know exactly where I'm taking you." Yeah. It's like, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully where I told you to. <laughs> yeah. It's like Jeez. next stop. You know, I don't know Catalonia. Catalonia. <laughs> I, I hear the pigeons are lovely this time of year. <laughs> It's it's been a journey, but that is your Danish news, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening and watching, and thank you, Jeff, for joining us and filling us in on all this. Now, uh, and other news before we let you go. I know you have an upcoming show. Maybe you can tell us a bit about. I do. Thank you so very much. Uh, I'm doing my uh, first proper one man show. Very first proper proper with like tour yes. manager and venues, and it's and it's going to be recorded. It's very exciting. So it's like uh, three and a half years of my best material put together. It's called Lucky Potato. Uh, I'm coming to Aarhus on the uh, the 31st of October. I'm going to be in Copenhagen on the 7th of November. And I am going to be in Albor on the 26th of November. And it's all about um, fitting in and finding a place to belong. So if you can relate to that... I'd love to see you there. It's Aren't really we really all? Yeah, yes. you know, in the arms of your cousin. Maybe. In the arms of your bring your cousins. Yeah, bring your cousins. Bring, <laughs> <laughs> bring your cousins and or wife or husband and partner. <laughs> and maybe it's the same. Yeah, you know, uh, you yeah. never know. And uh, we'll have the <laughs> we'll have the links in the description in the show notes so that you can find uh, Jeff Show and catch him in a city near you. That'd be so great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Hi, hi, bye. bye.